Shuli's here with some uh, headlines from the Howard 100 News. Oh, we haven't talked to Shuli in a while. By the way, Shuli has a stand-up special on DVD. I should, I'm should. i going to give Shuli a plug because he does such a good job with the news. Oh, there's his uh, news mm. jacket. Look at him in the I, news jacket. Yeah. Boy, somehow he it's really... It's not mine, Howard. I, I couldn't find my news jacket. This is Lisa G's news jacket. You know what? <laughs> somehow you make that whole look work. I don't know how. <laughs> By the way, Shuli put out... Uh, what's the name of the DVD? I watched it. Call of Shuli. Yeah, Call of Shuli. Uh, Israeli Funny is the name of the DVD. Hey, and, and Shuli is surprisingly funny. I always thought that Shuli maybe was a shitty stand-up. You thought he was a hack stand-up. Yeah, I mean, because you see Shuli in the halls, you go, he can't possibly know what he's doing. <laughs> but then I started to realize during the, the news how funny you are. And, yeah. and then when you're on with Jay Thomas, how funny you are and well, all that. One of the coolest I things said, maybe was... Maybe he could do stand-up. Mm -hmm. And so the proof is in the pudding. There is a DVD. How do you get that fucking thing? Uh, you can go to my site, JewGoneWild.com, <laughs> and you can pick it up there. See, he is funny. Uh -huh. But you, it was so cool that day because you, you actually stopped, and, you know, I, at first you think, like, he's just saying something nice to be a nice guy. Right. But then you started quoting jokes from the DVD, and I was like, Tell wow, he really watched it. Tell Robin the joke. Uh, about how, you know, he has a lot of relatives in Israel because uh -huh. surely he's like a real Jew from Israel. He came there. from yeah. Israel, yeah. Right. And so, they always invite you back home. Well, yeah, they call me, you know, because we, we talk from time to time and they call me up and, uh, and they always go, uh, so when are you going to? And then you just hear... <laughs> <laughs> when are you coming to visit us out here? <laughs> like, you out of your fucking mind? Ah. I need to visit you guys out there? <laughs> yeah. 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 You had me with that. Yeah. Wouldn't that be great if that was just a record they played because they don't want Julie to come home? <laughs> Could they believe me? Yeah, right. It's no record. The <laughs> I don't know. It was just so great. Um... But uh, uh, anyway, great job on the Thank DVD. you, man. Thank go you to so uh, JewGoneWild.com. Get Shuli's new DVD. All right. Yeah, what do you got for us in the news? Look out, Charlie Sheen. This Saturday night, Ronnie Munn takes the stage at the Allentown Brew Works in Allentown, PA, to host Ronnie Munn's Block Party. The event will feature comedy sets from myself, comedian John Toll, as well as a Q&A session with Scott the Engineer, who will also serve <laughs> Q &A. as... Q&A. What is this? Who yeah. will also serve as DJ for the night. Scott says he plans on interacting with the audience and wants to get people to go get on stage and dance. There's nothing like a guy with zero personality doing a QA. and a <laughs> I mean, can you, here, Fred, you be Scott the Engineer. Hello. Uh, Scott, uh, so uh, what's your favorite kind of music? No. <laughs> uh, You're already out of there. I mean, can you imagine uh, he's going to do a Q&A? There's nothing to say. Ronnie's uh, block uh, uh, party. Any any music. Uh, Ronnie's any, on all, all music. Hey. Ronnie's I like yeah. it all. Yeah, good. <laughs> Ronnie's on fire. Wow. Why do you do, bother doing appearances, Scott? No one wants to see you. You have nothing to say. You no, want I, I was, for money? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, obviously. Would they pay you some decent money? It's Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. It's a few bucks, and I well, can use it. Right, well, that makes sense. With the cost of gas. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. you know. I tried to get him some extra cash. I told him there's a guy out there that I know that is willing. He has a dunk tank, yeah. and he's willing to set it up. And I told him that uh, he, if he'd be willing to sit in the dunk tank and let the audience throw stuff at him, and uh. if they can dunk him, he can keep a percentage of the, uh, of the money. He said he would do that. I didn't say that. Well, so, he said he... Do, so here's Scott <laughs> doing stand-up comedy. I didn't say I would do it. Thank you. <laughs> You're really considering going in a dunk tank? I, I was for a while. I said, let me think about it. I didn't, I didn't say yes. Let me tell you where he drew the line. The next thing was I told him the, the other idea we had is to paint a target on his head <laughs> and let, let people shoot those plastic darts at their head, the suction cup darts. Yeah. And he's like, no, that I'm not doing. No, that's, not <laughs> that's humiliating. But I will be fucked in the ass. <laughs> I'm, for a I'm, patio. I'm not doing that, I'll tell you. A dunk tank is one thing. Uh, Having a dart shot at your head is another. I'll let guys jerk off on my face, but dunk tank, no. Yeah. I'll let a guy jerk off on my face, but no fucking me in the ass. No. My wife put a stop to that. <laughs> <laughs> He's so desperate for cash. Have, he was really going to let a guy fuck him in the ass. On yeah, stage. you're you're surprised he would go into yeah. a dunk tank? Dunk tank. I still say he'd let darts be shot at him. <laughs> the funniest thing That's about That's not that. happening. Hey, it would. The funniest thing about that is you guys had the whole horse blanket plan to put his head poking out of a horse blanket. No, it looked no like one... sea biscuit. <laughs> Look, I don't want anyone seeing the cock going into my ass. 
<laughs> that's, that's personal. The problem. We had him for two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Big thick heart going right in his ass. I tell you the truth, I would have done it for two hundred thousand. <laughs> I decided not to do it Discount. because my son and wife sat me down and said uh, they were against it. Well, yeah, you remember really? what, when he first talked to her? She said she was all for it. Well, she said if you last past the time limit, they should get extra. If you go past <laughs> yeah. in two minutes, that's she called golden she time. Yeah. Yeah. She said you should get extra for every minute uh, you go over. This is embarrassing to bring up, but I'd like extra pay if I go more than the two. <laughs> and, and if he minutes. shoots it in my ass, I want triple scale. <laughs> So you were planning on letting him really ram you for a long time, huh? You were, you were shooting for a million. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, uh, you know, if I go 15 minutes to a half hour, I think I deserve a million. <laughs> what do you think, honey? <laughs> well, you know what I could do, Scott? What if I get, like, five guys to fuck in the ass? Then we could definitely make sure they last. Wait, what if I give them foot jobs while I'm getting fucked in the ass? <laughs> what if I give two hand jobs while I get in the ass? <laughs> and, and they can fuck job. my armpits. <laughs> <laughs> I can have a midget squat on my nose. Hey, man. And does what he has to do for his family. And then it's not a totally offensive act to me. My ass puts food on the table. What was your plan? Were you going to enema and stuff like beforehand? So I, had no I had no plan. If I was you, I I'd know. want that shit to come out I, I, so the guy might pull out. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what I was going to do, really. I Imagine have no if idea. Scott had like an orgasm. Oh, like he came you in his loved pants. it. No, that wasn't going to happen. This is a bonus. No, 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 no. No, no way, no. I'm not gay. <laughs> What are you whispering over? Oh, oh yeah, you know what? what? Howard, you get just, out of here. What is it, Ronnie? What? <laughs> Dude. What? Come what? on. Ronnie, tell him. What do you got there, Ronnie? <laughs> so, so Scott's going to DJ this thing. Yeah. And uh, he thinks he's going to a bar mitzvah. He's going to throw out sunglasses like, like you know, you give the giveaways out. Yeah. Right. You know, and, and the little things that light up around your neck and stuff. Yeah. He's going to throw them out to the crowd. What's so funny about that? It's, it's funny. funny. It's, it's funny. funny. It's going to be a scream. It's goofy. That's the problem. It, I mean, that's what it's going to be it's great. It's going to be a scream. That's Ronnie's why it's going to be great. some sort of weird tear, too. Does anybody know about this? But he's a big star now. Yeah. He's got, um, um, uh, what is your meeting with uh, the TV show? Uh, possibly tomorrow. <laughs> I'll, know to tomorrow. I'll know tomorrow. I'll know tomorrow. I can't really talk about what it is. Uh, okay. All okay. right, what uh, is this? You know how long you've been waiting to get your own TV show? Sure. Okay, you know, you're, you consider yourself pretty professional and uh -huh. everything? Okay, well, Ronnie is passing all of us by. <laughs> Actually, the show, it, I can tell you the show is called Wheels. That's what I can tell you. Okay. This week, he has a meeting. In fact, he came to me. He's got to get an agent. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I talked to my agent about. He's I had to talk to my agent about Ronnie. That what he say? needs an agent. You should call him. But, okay. But uh, anyway. He's getting offered some television show, like a sitcom or something. Really? Right? Isn't it some sort of sitcom? Yeah. 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 So this is so an acting gig. Yesterday, I'm sitting at my desk, and Gary forwards me an email. Did Gary send you the email? No. Yeah, oh. I'm giving it to me because Ronnie doesn't have email. Yes, no, I do. He does. Oh, when did that happen? Oh, uh, when I got my BlackBerry back in December. Yeah, he has an email now. I didn't even know either. I'm like, I have shit to send him, and I'm like, shit, I wish Ronnie could email me while well, he had it. <laughs> so yesterday, this I get this email from a television, a big television network. They want Ronnie uh -huh. to have his own talk show. Wow. Are you kidding me? I'm He's going to replace kidding. Oprah. <laughs> and they go, look, Howard, we're asking you because we don't want to be disrespectful because we know there are demands on Ronnie's time, and we don't think it would take up much of his time. So you mean he, he could do the show and still do this? And still drive the car for me. <laughs> so, uh, or, is this, or is this another more Ronnie show? No, 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 no. <laughs> this is just a regular fucking television show on a network okay. where like, they, they describe that you'll be like a Keith Oberman, like right. where you give your thoughts on things. Really? Really? Yeah. So I get this, and they said, and they Dude. said, uh, Gary goes, "What should I do with this?" I said, "Send it to Ronnie." Yeah. So let him uh, let him go see. He's if he got can... offers. Yeah. So you got another television show that they want Dude. you for. Okay. Thanks. But I don't mean for like a guest. I mean Dude. your own show. Like your show, where you are the Glenn Beck or something. Well, not Glenn Beck, but more like uh, they describe Keith Oberman. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No chalkboard for Ronnie. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Okay. Cool. What do you think of that? I think it's great. You're finally going to be If it's true, I think car. it's great. Dude. I don't know what's a joke around here anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. No joke. I swear to God. I'm not fucking with you. Okay. i got to sit in a car That's with you cool. all day. I, I can't fuck believe with you. this. Yeah. Well, what if he can't do both? He's got two I won't now. give this up. You never, won't? I'll never give this up. Hollywood really? is no. calling. Absolutely not. <laughs> well, this is his safety uh, right. net. But wait a minute. Uh, where do these shows shoot? In New York? New York. The, yeah. And, and the, yeah. Okay. In yeah. the Balkans. I'll make sure. <laughs> They shoot in New York. <laughs> I'll be executive producing, of course. <laughs> anyway, so... Oh, me and Les Moonves. So anyway, Gary has some email for you. Okay. Give him your email address. Okay. And um, you got some big offer. 
All right, great. All right. Thanks, man. You right, got to be able to be uh, reached now if you're going to be in demand. I have, I have email. I have, I have everything. <laughs> no, now he's the whole executive. You know, I mean, I, I, I tried to get Gary to be my guy on BlackBerry, but he never answered me. You know, what is that instant? The instant message. Yeah, the instant. He, he, he never messenger. answered. So. Well, now you that know. you have two shows, maybe you will. Mm. Yeah. You know, he's a star fucker. <laughs> I got to go pick out some outfits, Miss Howard TV now. All right, go ahead. Very important. Very, that's your job. That'll be another show on Bravo. There you go. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. There he is. Project Runway. You think <laughs> Runway? That, sh <laughs> <laughs> that show Wheels is about guys who have wheels in their living room. No, like I mean, Ronnie, but like it's really, tie. it's like a sitcom for like men, you that's know. That's cool. Yeah, and it's Ronnie's show. Ron, who's more manly than Ronnie? So no Ronnie's, one. they're having a sit down with Ronnie to feel each other out. Oh, so they, they so still want to check him out. Ronnie needed my advice. Should I go in there with a representative? Uh -huh. And I, I said, yeah. I said, but who are you going to get? He got some buddy as or some sort of agent. <laughs> He's oh, gonna really? Go, he's going to go over there with him. He wear a skull shirt to the meeting? Yeah. Hey, hello, I'm here for the meeting. Oh, Here's my yeah. shark tattoo. <laughs> Talk to the shark. <laughs> and then evidently this other TV network wants him for his own, like, talk show. That's amazing. Mm. And and who fired him? J.D. Yeah. I had him first, and, that, and J.D. <laughs> fired him. Big dummy. Who knew I had such a hot commodity? I know. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Anyway, Shirley, hey, good report. Thanks, buddy. All right, man. <laughs> All and right. Uh, good job on that CD. Uh, what's the website again? Uh, it's uh, jewgonewild.com. Scott, you all right, man? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Howard, this is going to be... Howard TV's coming to film this show. I this should weekend. hope. And, and Scott will be DJing and... Uh, yeah, right, right now... And doing whatever. We're going to have a great time at Toronto's block party. Where is so this going to be? In, uh, uh, it's in Allentown, PA at the uh, Allentown Brewer. And you're doing comedy? I'm yeah, not, yeah, I think you're going to be handling the bulk of the chores. Yeah, like. yeah. Me and this guy John Toll is a great, great comic. Yeah. Uh, National touring. Ronnie's comic. block party's going to be Ronnie coming out and screaming into the mic, Scott coming out and screaming out a few <laughs> things, and then you guys actually doing the heavy lifting. Right. All right, very good. I'm, I'm laughing because Scott immediately Dude. said, "No, I won't be doing no comedy. more comedy." <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, you could fuck me in the ass on the stage. Do you right, remember dude. when he tried it in, in Cleveland? He, oh, do I remember? It was the greatest. Killed. You didn't have to bring that up again, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good, good, good. That, re that reminds me, I got a great, this is a true story. We get off the plane today, me and Artie, and we're walking through the, the airport, and a, a guy comes up to us, and he goes, hey, guy, how, how you doing? He recognized us. He goes, can I get a picture? And we go, fine. <laughs> Take a picture. The guy turns to me, hands me the camera, and goes, do you mind? Oh, fuck him. Why do I look like a photographer? <laughs> you hear the guys in the audience going, I'm like a fuck bald you. drum out of Seinfeld. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah. Uh, the, and by the way, this is a true story. That was funny. Hey, no, you. It's never good. I'm not making this you know, up. First of all, you know <laughs> that wasn't a true story. No, Secondly. No, it was. Ab absolutely was. a true story. Yeah. yeah. Well, absolutely. You have, the, you have such the gift of gift. Yes, party. It's never good when you have to keep yelling louder and louder <laughs> through your joke. And you've got a microphone. Yeah, you're like, so I was walking through the app, and then the guy turned around. Fuck you. <laughs> Why aren't they listening? I was so wasted, I had no idea. You what know, if, if, if you'll all calm down and listen, you might have a good time. <laughs> if I was George Carlin, you'd love this. <laughs> it's like literally. What is it, Shuli? What could, what could Scott possibly do to get the audience to quiet down? Shoot and myself. He set foot on stage, <laughs> and they went ape shit. There's something about it. Him, that just does not command respect, right? Like, one guy I thought I heard going, go home! Like, go home. Loser. <laughs> Fuck yourself. Shit. I get no fucking respect. You know, we have a band on the show called The Losers. And the reason it's called The Losers is because it was named after me. I'm the head loser. Now, the total disrespect is I got kicked out of the fucking band. Where's the joke? He's oh, out of breath. Like, okay, yeah. I need a punchline. <laughs> he's out of breath from yelling over like the audience. He's, like he's running in a race or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. We have a bad call the losers. I, I, I give you the punchline, but I have COPD. <laughs> I, I, I can't breathe. <laughs> Baldy J Dangerfield. The, the, the second word is I get no respect. Oh. <laughs> 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 Why are you so out of breath? <laughs> I was like... A lot heavier than two, I think. You were in shape. What, what were you doing? You were just standing. standing. What were you doing? You weren't in shape to talk. I wasn't in shape to walk onto the stage. I'm That's not in shape to sweat. Go ride a bike for a year. You see, if everybody comes Saturday, they're going to have a great time. Oh.
Oh. You can fuck around come with on. me. Come on. I mean, come on. I'm the head loser and I get kicked out. What kind of bullshit is that? <laughs> 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 I can't catch my brother having a heart attack. Checking his pulse. <laughs> Imagine somebody bringing him a chair on the stage. Scott, sit down. <laughs> Is there a crash cut <laughs> in the building? Two <laughs> 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 uh, two jokes in. I'm windy. I should have paced myself. I like to do my impression of an asthmatic crow. <laughs> <laughs> Last shot. <laughs> You're booing that. You know, yeah. I, I'm portrayed as uh, the sad sack of the show, the fucking loser, but I just want to say something, you know? I just want to say My something. Wa- He's up on stage. Say something already. <laughs> the guy, as soon want- as he goes, I want to say something. They go, you fucking suck. <laughs> you lose the crowd as soon as you say, I just want to say something. Yeah. You're there to say something. Say something. If my wife doesn't have an emotional friend, that's for sure. Right? I don't have monkey teeth and sewer breath. Hi, uh, Bolf. How you doing? Hi, Bolf. You're an impressionist. Well, yeah, I was, that's uh, different. You were doing impressions. Yeah, I'm like yeah. a rich little. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but not so rich little. I'm broke little. Unlike the man that brought me here tonight, Bob Levy, I live upstairs in my house, and, I don't, and the only thing I put blue cheese on is my chicken wings. Whoa, it's whoa. like instead of a rim Terrible. shot, it's, it's exhaling. I hear like, some yeah. guy. Get out of here! Oh, the whole noise. There's a, uh, 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 fuck you, girl. I'll kill just, yourself. Oh my god, what does Thank that you. do to your self esteem? Uh, the word. <laughs> well, Scott yeah. does nothing. Yeah. You know, I, I don't feel bad. You booed all the best, so I don't give a shit if you boo me anyway. And. Uh, and I didn't, I didn't lose a multi-million dollar house, a wife, three kids, and Java the, the dog in a divorce. So what the fuck? Yeah, look at me. I'm a loser. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're up there yeah. sweating and breathing. Yeah. And you're told to fuck off. <laughs> People are yelling at me, fuck off. But look at Howard. He's a loser. <laughs> I didn't lose Java the dog. Meanwhile, you lost your fucking house in your first marriage, you fucking man. Yeah. <laughs> and guess what? I have a new house and you don't. Go Cavaliers. <laughs> Jesus Christ, his stand-up is exhausting. Maybe I should have said, go Indians. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. That's like... <laughs> yeah. You are witness to my comic debut. How am I doing? <laughs> yeah! I fucking love Cleveland. I love Cleveland. It's fucking great. I've been. <laughs> I told you, you should have gotten fucked That's in the enough. ass. <laughs> it would have been less painful yeah, than right. that. <laughs> I'd rather do that. And they would have shut up for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, all you would have heard was cameras clicking, not a mm, beat. Yeah. <laughs> what is it, Marianne? Howard, we all went to see Julie on Friday night, and even Rob Burnett was there, and it was a sick, great show. We had a blast. Rob Burnett was there? Yeah, that's what they were telling that's me. That's a big break for you. I, I know. Pictures and everything, and he watched the whole show, and it was awesome. And how is How soon is he going to get you hustle you up onto Letterman? Well, I think it was going well till Ass Napkin Ed tried to come on stage, <laughs> oh. and he tripped and fell face first into the window that was behind the stage. Mm. So that the show took a little turn there. All right, Shuli. Thanks, and we look Howard. forward to your DVD. On JewGoneWild.com. JewGoneWild.com. Scott, Call anything you Shuley. want to promote? You're going to be this weekend. You're going to be with Ronnie's uh, block party. This Park. weekend in uh, Allentown at the Brew Works and at Harrah's in Atlantic City. I'll be DJing for real. Excellent. So, All so right. Very back. good. Thank you, boys. Bring your Thank great you. questions yeah. to the Brew Works. <laughs> Bring your questions, or Scott might even work up some new material. Yeah. <laughs> That's Thank right. You. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent report. Hey, uh, John, you want to come on in? John Hine, everybody. John Hines is going to tell you what's happening on the wrap-up show. Johnny Boy, what do we have? Uh, I say, what do we have? John Hines never masturbates. Howard, Ronnie's block party will be happening this Saturday, and everyone is wondering if this could be the big break that Scott the Engineer and Ronnie have been looking for. Right. We'll see what everyone's expectations are for this event. Uh, Scott, who will be conducting a Q&A, recalled his willingness to get fucked in the ass for $250,000 and not being in shape for his Cleveland stand-up debut. How Ronnie asked how I never even finished the tape. Maybe you guys should finish it on the wrap-up show. Of what? 
You know, I, I forgot that like we were in the middle of uh, Scott the Engineer's stand-up tape. Yes. And I didn't even get to the best parts. You're kidding, because the parts you played were pretty good. I know. I, I didn't even realize we were in the middle of it. I, I got distracted. There was so much going on during that segment. Is that Gary Page 2? My wife, my wife doesn't have an emotional friend. That's for sure. Right? He's actually going to go out and do this again. And no, listen. he says this time he's just going to be a DJ. No. Now he's doing a and Q do a Q and A. Q and A. Q and A. You think that's going to go well? Listen to those people in the audience. They want to kill him. <laughs> fuck you, you fucking asshole. Go home, you fuck. You keep, you keep <clears throat> fast forwarding. Get to like. Uh, I think he starts yelling about people talk about his ba his son's band sucking. <laughs> I fucking love Cleveland. I love Cleveland. It's fucking great. <laughs> listen to that. I've been. <laughs> What? I'm a fat fuck? You're right! I'm a fat fuck! Your son and his band sucks! A what? Your son's My son band sucks, that's right. <laughs> I agree with everything you say, and I'm a fucking asshole, too. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. It's going so poorly. He starts listening to the audience. They're getting yeah. louder than him. I think that's why he's calling it a QA. and a It just kind of turns into one. What's that? What? My band son suck? Sure. That's right. My band son suck. There's a lot of Q, but very little A. <laughs> yeah, the, the audience seems to have many, many questions. I don't have an answer. I suck. Yes. Yes, I suck. I suck. I agree. I agree. <laughs> My band son suck. Yeah, I know. What's that? I should eat shit and die? Okay. <laughs> Give me a plate and a fork. What stand-up is that? <laughs> you know... <laughs> <laughs> like Shirley says, he's out of breath. We don't even know why. We got on the stage for 30 seconds and he's out of breath. <sighs> What's that disease he has? CPM? COPD. COPD. I have COPD. You people are going to kill me. <laughs> C-O-P-E, and I'm a D-O-P-E. <laughs> I wanted to spell some rumors about Howard. Everybody said he doesn't take care of his staff, but that's not true. A few years, a few years ago, I went to Howard. I, I was desperate. I needed some money. Oh, Push-ups. Let me finish, all right? <laughs> You're rushing the story. You're blowing the joke. You got somewhere to go? <laughs> Let's get back to the action. I'm waxing poetic. A few years ago, I went to Howard, I needed some money, and within 24 hours, he came up with this great fucking idea. <laughs> this is booing him. Now they're outright booing And him. he thinks, I guess, the F yeah. word is like a good word well, to use in comedy. Yeah, you know, George Carlin was a master at that. Chris, Chris Rock. Rock is, that's right. Chris Rock's had a huge career with the F word, and he uses the N word as well. I'm trying out for size. Huh? Yeah. Maybe I should use the N word. Nigga. Yeah. Nigga, but I'll say nigga out of breath. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Get fucked in the ass by Lexington Steel. Come on, fuck me in the ass. <laughs> okay. What's better than that? Public humiliation, anal abuse, and. Public humili emuliation? <laughs> what do you think is worse than that? Public emuliation? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Any other questions? You think it's easy saying humiliation with COPD? <laughs> Public emuliation? Public humiliation and what else? <laughs> By the way, the sad part is Lexington Steel didn't even want to fuck him in the ass. <laughs> he turned him down. That's right. He said, look, I'm not gay. Twelve solid inches. Hmm. <laughs> Push-ups. Push-ups. Push Anybody else had anything? Push-ups. Push uh, I can do something on that. He's so distracted. He's like King Kong on top of the Empire State Building. He's, everything is distracting. He's swatting all over the place. He's really got control over that crowd. See, push-ups. Yeah, push-ups. <laughs> you know I can't do fucking push-ups. You saw that? Oh, no, now you admit it, huh? Yeah, he took our money, though. Right. The show. <laughs> fucking. You know... One of the questions I'm sure we'll get tonight is, what is Howard really like off the air? How the fuck do I know? He doesn't give me the time of day after the show. <laughs> All right, that was a good one. Come on. Bring that one out at the Q&A. That'll be my opener. That's a good <laughs> one. That's a keeper. I mean, if there was a party and there were two invitations left, I would be, I, and three people being considered, me, Daniel Carver, and Don Imus, who would win? Not me. 
<laughs> I seem to appear to be out of breath again. <laughs> Every time I bomb, out I lose my... Out of breath and out of punchlines. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think he runs out of punchlines first. <laughs> I never considered a punchline. I'm looking at premises right now. I should now. just punch myself. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, push ups, push ups, anybody? I'd like to do my impression of sawing wood. <laughs> Can't wait for that QA, Robin. Push ups, uh, that's like his topless. Hmm. <laughs> T O P L E S S? P U S H. P U S H U P S? P S? Push ups. <laughs> Fuck all of them. Do I give a shit? You know, I used to. Stand up is exhausting. He's, he's still going for it, yeah. though. I would have bailed a long time ago. Yeah, he, there's no shame. Q&A. When is this Q&A? This Saturday. This Saturday. Can't uh, wait. Yeah. And, I, and uh, Will he answer any questions? Like, like is he going to come? Is he going to have anything prepared? He's going to come out and go, "Hello, everybody. Uh, any questions?" Downtown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. I am a piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. My son band suck. Yeah. Ugh. That's right. Fuck me in the ass. That's right. I saw Howard in the hall today. He didn't talk to me. Yeah. This is a true story. <laughs> They're advertising a Scott the Engineer Q and A. <laughs> to love Cleveland until I saw this fucking crowd. Boo. What the fuck is wrong with these people, right? What the fuck is going on here? He's talking. Fuck, fuck. Oh, come on. It's ridiculous. It's it's they should they should Lenny Bruce that place and close it down. <laughs> Where's Richard Coe when you need him? He was yeah. the prosecutor that took care of Lenny Bruce. He should go after Scott. Lenny at least had some punchlines. <laughs> They don't appreciate a good show. But wait, wait, I got something for you. Hold on. <laughs> What's this? Hey, if you laugh, I got some T-shirts. Who wants a T-shirt? Come on. Yeah, there you go. Wait a minute. Come on. Hold on. <laughs> I think if he keeps talking, it drowns out the crowd. <laughs> hey. Who wants a T-shirt over here? Come on, you got you got to laugh, all right? <laughs> what is, what are they laughing at? Him handing uh, out T-shirts? Yeah. <laughs> Chris Rock ought to do that. Hand out T-shirts in the middle if of the show. If you laugh, I'll hand you a T-shirt. Come on, you got to laugh. This is a stand-up show. <laughs> Berating the audience. Yeah. That was a Howard TV shirt. They're very rare. I don't even have one. <laughs> you know, what that guy say? I want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't have it. <laughs> At a young age, my parents told me I had a black cloud over me. You know, and I'm not going to deny that terrible things have happened to me. Like this audience, you suck. <laughs> oh. You know, if Scott would just get up there and talk honestly about his miserable life, it probably would be hilarious. He'd have plenty of material. Yeah. Not winning. <laughs> He'd get up and say not winning. <laughs> Anything but winning. Not winning. Who here is a perfect life? <laughs> Who here? It's an audience full of perfect lives. I even got caught cheating on my wife. And you know where I got caught cheating? Anybody know? Right here in fucking Cleveland. Yeah! What's that all about? You remember that. No, I don't. Well, that's Scott's story. Why doesn't he talk about that? <laughs> you really don't remember that? I don't remember that. Did he ever talk about that? I don't know. He did? He yeah. did on the air? He spoke about that. No. Did, did he? Did the whole story come out on the air? That's his story to tell. Yeah, because I, can't, I no. can't remember what's public knowledge and what I learned in private. I don't know anything about this. Yeah. You don't? No, you see, you do, but you don't... He, I don't remember it. He's so not memorable. You don't even remember <laughs> the fact that he cheated on his wife. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hey, Scott, you want to give us the rundown on that? <laughs> you brought it up. You guys don't even remember? <laughs> I poured out my soul. Ah, he's not coming in. <laughs> my empty soul. Scott, what was that story? Just give us the brief outline again. I mean, you don't have to go into every detail, but... I'm sorry, uh, I'm crying. <laughs> it's so bad. What was it again? We went I have no idea. I don't remember either. I'm like Robin. I did you speak I, about that I, on I the air? It was the Revelation, the Revelation show. Oh, right. Yeah. You, I, uh, what did you reveal exactly? I just revealed so. that I got caught with someone from Cleveland. That's 
all I revealed. You didn't reveal. <laughs> There's nothing more. Did you reveal? That's enough. Did you reveal the? I don't know. Oh, oh. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. I don't know either. No. Was it a guy? What did? You... Wait, Arnold Schwarzenegger's on the, the guy? phone. The guy? No, Arnold I didn't Schwarzenegger's reveal the guy. on the phone. He wants to high five you. Hello, Baldy. You're on high five. High five. You mean did the you time re- when I was you younger? Did you reveal that it was? No. Yes, you did. <laughs> no. It wasn't. It was a tranny. It wasn't her? <laughs> it was a tranny. Because they're saying on the notes you did no. reveal that. Oh. oh, you didn't. Okay, good. All right. I don't know the what guys, you're talking about. The guys in the office are saying that he did. I don't remember. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't remember on the air and off the air, Howard, quite honestly. Oh, we don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew he was a stud? <laughs> I'm like a bloated Michael Chiklis. Nothing else happened. I revealed everything on the air that was... Oh, you did? All right. Yeah. No, I thought... I know what I'm thinking of. You're I'm thinking, thinking of, of the time when I was younger and right, I right, swing, right. was swinging. That's what, yeah, when you were a swinger. The swinger, yes. We you talked revealed about that, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that right. that's, what I, that's what I'm referring I to. I remember right. the swinging. I don't remember the cheating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the cheating was a revelation. Yeah. Yeah. And that that was, was when we came here? Yeah, the first show. Oh, wow. Yeah, I swung over to cheating. Do you, have, do you have any children outside of the marriage named the engineer? No, I can guarantee you I don't have any other children. Uh, That's a positive. I can guarantee that. you that. It's one thing to find out Arnold Schwarzenegger's your, your illegitimate father. It's another to find out it's Scott the engineer. Yeah, yeah. no, there's no other children. <laughs> the difference is that. most kids, when they find out that their father's a celebrity, they go and ask him for money. Scott would ask the kid for money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Excuse me, son. Uh, I know I haven't been there for you, but do you have any extra money? <laughs> How about your lunch money? <laughs> <laughs> Got a paper route? <laughs> ah. You're really going to put yourself through this again? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm not doing comedy. But it's Q&A. Obviously, I can't do comedy. Yeah, but Q&A is the same thing. These people are sh- shouting at you. They'll yell at me. What's the big they, deal? They push it. So when, they, when people go push-ups, what are you going to say? Hey, push-ups, yeah. I'll, do, I'll do a push-up. I'll do a oh, push- I love Cleveland. <laughs> But you know, some some good things have happened to me. I work for the best fucking radio show ever. There you go. Come on. Come on. The Howard Stern Show. I've slept with two women at the same time. How many fucking faggot guys can say that? Come on. That was your swinging day. Yes, we talked. Uh, okay. That's what you were talking yeah. about. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Yeah, and they and they both fell asleep on me. I used to be a swinger. Wait, one more line. I used to be a swing. What am I dying out here? <laughs> you don't know. I was wasted. Who knew? I used to be a swinger. And I- wait, 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 guys, guys, guys. Artie's trying to help yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a ridiculous. Effort. Eight minutes later, <laughs> Artie's trying to save me. <laughs> Artie knows a this winner when he sees it. This is only eight minutes. Oh my god! If I was in the ocean, I'd be dead. <laughs> Artie knew to let that thing go. <laughs> Thank you. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, time for you to leave. Yeah, yeah really. You got to look at the... B- the tribe has spoken. <laughs> picture, as, as fucking awful as this is now, Monday morning when we're playing every second of it, it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> it's amazing when... So when Artie Four speaks, years later. When Artie speaks, everyone quiets they down. Listen. They just well, listen. They, they were saving up their laughs. I don't know. I'm saying <laughs> words, too, and no one's listening. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Scott jumped right in. He hears cheering. Yeah. <laughs> is it really that bad? Oh, God. Come on. Come on. Give me a break. This is my debut. Give me a break. So I, w- so I work for the best radio show ever. He ain't letting go. He's picking right up. I used to be a swinger. No, I can't even fucking get it out. I used to be a swinger and swap partners. Now the only time I get fucked is when I'm in the studio with Howard. Fuck everyone. Thank you. There you go. Crowd loves Scott Salem, wait, Scott, Scott. How about a hand for Scott Salem? Come on. <laughs> I hate to say it, Charlie Sheen stole your act. He did. <laughs> From what I'm reading. Yeah. <laughs> he did. And he didn't do it well. Winning. Winner, winner, win, win Salem dinner. Losing. <laughs> All right, thank I you, I don't Scott. think so. Thank you. All right. <laughs> That'll be good. Come on, fuck me in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's my opening line. Yeah. 
Actually, there's no way this question and answer won't go, har <laughs> won't go horribly awry. Oh my god. My prediction, first four questions, what is what does other dudes load taste like? One after the other. Uh, <laughs> as soon as he pitched to me that he said, uh, I'm thinking of doing a Q&A, I, I immediately looked him right in the eyes and I said, go for it. That's a great idea. Because I remember this tape. I remember that audio, that show. And keep in mind, that was a set. He had people write jokes for him. That wasn't a Q and I. You never want to turn the show over to the audience as a, as a comic because then you have no control. So it should be very, very interesting. I mean, I, I'm going to be laughing so hard during that set. I can't wait. I can't wait. I don't even want to perform that night. Let him flail, sir. Yeah, I mean, that's fuck. I mean, half the people who are buying tickets right now are buying it just to see this guy die on stage. So, uh, will it go as horribly uh, as it did in Cleveland? I hope so. May I talk to you for a hot minute? Hold on a second. Okay. Okay. All right. Scott. Yes. Oh, hold on. Let me put makeup on. Oh my better? God, so much better. <laughs> oh my God. Star oh, power. Oh. Thirsty. Hold on. And you really are becoming a star. Uh, hair, hair, and makeup. Oh, wait, no hair. Unnecessary. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Scott, given all of your past appearances and your your little attempts at stand-up comedy yes. and, and uh, live appearances and whatnot, mm -hmm. how do you envision this weekend uh, going in Allentown? Let's go bowling. <laughs> it's, I don't know. It's gonna be fun. That's all I know. You know, it's gonna be pretty wild. It's Ronnie's block party. You've ever been to Ronnie's block party? If not. Which most of you haven't been, I'm sure. We're going to show you what Ronnie's block party really is. There's going to be some goofing on you. Really? There's going to be some tape. Who said this? Why put yourself through it? I mean, they're still bringing up the Lexington Steel proposal from years years ago. Dude, the they still debacle. talk about Baba, Baba Booey. It was 20 years ago. <laughs> um, nothing is ever dropped on this show. You know this. What am I going to do? So why add more ammo? I need the money. <laughs> uh, yeah, times are tough right now, and um, so I'm going to go out. I'm going to have fun, too. It's not really the money. We're going to have a good time, and um, it's a few bucks to pay, you know, to pay the gas bills, and uh, we'll see where we're going. Sir, I'm looking forward to the tape. Uh, I'm sure you are. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure you'll get your dirty little hands on it right when it comes out of the camera, and you'll be editing and cutting and making us all look like assholes. I sure will. Thank you very much. Godspeed, Mr. Engineer. <laughs> See ya.